Welcome back to the channel, Why Not Comments. We hit a local antique shop and let's see what we got. All right, guys, we're at a local antique shop and uh, this is our second time here. They have a couple comic books. I think there's like two vendors. So we're going to go in here and uh, see if we can find anything good. Any good deals. They got some Star Wars stuff. Some of this stuff was reprint. Then you'll see some um, some Venom stuff. This is, the I think, the second ongoing series. That Moon Knight is a key, but I think they wanted like 14 bucks for that. So they had some good stuff, but some of the stuff was a little pricey. So uh, we're just going to keep looking around and see if we can find anything else cool. All right, guys, I stumbled across some of these Marvel cards. I think these are Flair 1997s and 94. Some of these things are actually worth a little bit of money. You got to get them graded out. And if you get a 10, Jim Mint 10, they're worth some. It depends which one it is, but someone's worth a couple hundred dollars. So I'm trying to look for something that's in a decent condition. Each sleeve, I think, is four bucks. So it's nine cards for four dollars. Not too bad. So just we're trying to find something good. And I'll talk more about this when we get to the house. All right, guys, we just got back from a local antique shop um, in Myrtle Beach. So this are, I've been there once already, so we swung by again. I kind of wait a couple months and then go back because the vendors, they refresh their stuff, and they get new stuff in. They sell stuff, so I give enough time uh, for the vendors to get new stuff. I got Spawn number two. I got this for $5. I wish it was a newsstand. The newsstands are actually going for a little bit of money. Found a Spawn number one newsstand. And it's going for some decent amount of money too, yeah, especially in high grade. Uh, the Marvel cards, if you can find some of them Marvel cards in good condition, like any any Marvel card, like any big character, Thor, Spider-Man, Venom, X-Men, any X-Men, anything like that in high grade. I'll pop some comps on the screen, but if you can get it uh, graded, they're worth a little bit of money. So just uh, keep your eye on, out on that. I actually bought some recently. I can't find them right now. I didn't pick none of the ones up on in the video just because I already went there once and found some and I haven't got them sent off yet, but I probably will do that uh, eventually, but it's not right now. I think uh, Beckett is one of the best uh, grading companies for cards. So that's just something to keep in mind. If they're newer companies, I would wait and see how, um, I'm not sure how the grading works with the newer companies. People just don't know much about them, so they don't want to spend as much money. So, but then we got Dazzle number two. This is her ongoing story. Or series, I'm sorry, and uh, that's number two. I got a dollar. I paid a dollar for that. Then we got um, Daredevil number fifty-one. This is the first. I think it's her origin of um, Echo, and actually it says right here, Daredevil number fifty-one, volume two, first appearance of White Tiger. I didn't know that was a, her first appearance or White Tiger's first appearance, but it is. That's what it says. I paid two dollars for that book. That's a pretty um, good book to invest in. 
because with uh they already showed Echo in uh, the Hawkeye series and eventually something else is gonna happen to her. I think she's actually having her own uh, story on Netflix or season, so that's really cool. I don't really mess with Star Wars that much, but I found it for a dollar, and this is like super clean book. This might be actually a first appearance, a brief first appearance. No big key or nothing, but um, for a dollar, I went ahead and picked it up. Star Wars number 93. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if it's a first appearance or not. But very high grade. I might get that sent off and give it away to somebody, some Star Wars fans. Well, my buddy loves Star Wars, so I might just give it to him. I got one good good book. And I got it for $5, and uh, I, did, I think I did pretty good on this one. And I'll show it to you after this one. Next book we got is Venom number four. This is the first appearance of Scream. Two dollars for this book. Awesome little book. Um, the symbiotes and stuff is already in the MCU. They showed uh, Venom in the uh, multiverse, kinda. So just be on the lookout for any uh, Venom carnage. All of them are eventually gonna come. I think Noel might actually come too. So I think that's really cool. Eventually, I do think he will come. They'll put him on the big train. He's actually really tough to beat. Um, I think Eddie Brock beat him. But anyways, or Dylan. Anyways, all right, we got the, this is the last book. And before I get into this book, well, actually, I'm going to show it to you real quick, and then I'm going to tell you what, uh, what you need to know if you want to buy comic books. The best time to buy comic books is after a movie. Like, if you see uh, Venom, Let There Be Carnage is about to come out, do not go buy the Carnage book. The same time the movie's about to come out. When you start seeing trailers, it's too late for you to buy them books. You need to wait until after the movie. Wait about a month or two. Then buy the books because they're going to start dropping. Or Moon Knight. When you see Moon Knight. Or even, um, uh, what was it? Uh, Wolverine number 88. The Deadpool Wolverine. That book got hot and everybody bought it. It cooled right back down and nothing happened with them so far. But they will be. I would wait till after the movie. Then you, then you buy that book. But well, now's a good time to sell that book. But it's already, it's kind of already passed now. Everybody that wants it, it's all about supply and demand. Who wants it? Who doesn't want it? Once they, the market starts flooding with them, the people that want it real quick, they'll buy it. And then after that, everybody and their mama is going to try to sell it. And then it's going to, it gets flooded. Then the book starts dropping. So just, you have to have patience. And this eventually, you better get a good deal. But right now, I wouldn't mess with that book until after the movie. All right. This right here is actually the first appearance of Mario Brothers and the first appearance of Donkey Kong. I actually paid $5 for this book. And, um, yeah, it, it is missing a cover. I mean, the cover's ripped right here, missing a whole chip. But for $5, it's a really... My, my wife actually loves Donkey Kong and uh, Mario. She, I, she, she loves Mario. She's actually really, really good at Mario. But um, that's just something that we've seen and we knew it was his first appearance. So I went ahead and picked it up for for five bucks. That's awesome, easy deal and a easy pickup in my opinion. But it is a low grade. I probably give that book a maybe a two, one, one, two. But it don't really matter about the grade. It's just to have it in a PC is really cool, especially when it means something, you know, to me and my family. That's when it's a good investment. But for five dollars, you can't beat that. But anyways, yeah, what I was saying about the uh, when to buy books and when not to buy them. You always wait until after the movie or before a trailer. If it, you start seeing a trailer on TV and stuff, it's already too late. So just make sure you wait before you start buying stuff like that. But anyways, y'all, if you're enjoying the content, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.